And now, our feature presentation. Let's talk about it, bro. The marquee from John Wick 4 was on my boy John Wick Shaboing Boing like crazy. <laughs> he was doing the tricks on it so hard, I'm surprised bro didn't get pregnant. And then this lame ass dude couldn't even fight his own battle. Seriously. I'm talking about bro was following him all across the world. Just all the way from Osaka to Berlin to Sacre-Cœur. Like, come on now, dude. He do not want you. <laughs> check out this scene where they were setting up a duel. Bro couldn't even fight his own battles for himself. He had to nominate Kane. I know John Wick was pressed when he said, hmm. I nominate Kane. But not only that, after the duel got set up and John Wick had to wait from sunrise, this man, the marquee, said, I'm not even gonna let bro make it to the door. Hmm. So we set out a 20 plus million bounty yep. on John so Wick, did. having the entire city of Sacrecore, which seems to only be assassins for some reason, hunt bro again. That's like the third time bro got a <laughs> bounty put on his head. And I just know John is sick and tired of it, bro. Yeah. And we start off this little bounty stamp with the song Painted Black being played. I cannot play the song for I fear YouTube will strike me down with the fury of a thousand suns, but mm. just know when this song gets in any field, something crazy about to go down. He's right though, man. When, when Painted Black from the Rolling Stones plays, you know it's something about to go real down. Like seriously, man. <laughs> like this this entire Paris arc is one of the is actually arguably honestly the best arc of the freaking movie. And wait till y'all Man, if y'all haven't seen John Wick 4, I urge you to believe to watch it, please. John was just walking the streets and he gets pulled up on by two dudes, bro. John Wick disarmed one of the guys, booms the other guy, and then they both get ran over by a car. Ooh. I'm sorry, John Wick got ran over by two cars because as soon as he yeah. got up, he got ran Damn. over by another one. John left it on the hood, though, but he booms the guy driving the car, but the car's still driving, and then it crashes, bro, right into a bus. Damn. And then John just gets up after it, bro. I don't know how, bro, continues to keep trucking after he gets hit by cars and buses and falls off buildings. Hmm. John looks just different, I guess. And then, of course, John Wick gets hit by another car. <laughs> yeah. In a span of not even 30 seconds, John Wick has gotten hit by three cars. See. Man's like me would have just called it quits after the first one. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. 30 cars in a span of 20 seconds, bro. Come on, dude. <laughs> but he booms the dude who drove the car, took out the passenger. And I don't even know how to explain this with words, but he took him for a ride. Sling him bros Whoop. back into the bus and then he runs him over. Damn. I don't know why bro decided to get up after he got slung into a bus. He's not John Wick. He's not like that. And then four dudes pop out of a car, start shooting at John Wick. John shoots one and then another one starts Call of Duty prone. Yeah, crawling. Away from the gunfire from John Wick. But he gets up trying to disarm bro. And then John just backs the car up and makes bro hit a lamppost. And then this dude pops up behind John, disarms him. John opens the door backs up the door breaks off the car and then john wick drifts yeah picks up his gun Ooh, and still love that booms this dude yeah john wick gotta be the smoothest and coolest dude to ever exist because how do you even think of this but after that john wick gets out of there and he starts driving on the wrong side of the road i don't know what your problem is mr wick but you need to get it right <laughs> bad drivers on this channel and then here comes this <laughs> lame little <laughs> exactly <laughs> This dude. Him and John lock eye walk oh my in God. Car, driving at top speeds at each other, seeing who's really about that life. But then they chicken out at the last moment and only hit the rear end of each other. <laughs> Ain't that dude name's Killer, right? If I'm correct, that tall dude who was the Marquis bodyguard. If I'm correct, no, no, no. I think it was um um what you call it, Scott Atkins. I think Scott Atkins um character. I I, I gotta see. John Wick then puts his car in reverse and another car starts tailing him and then John starts shooting through his windshield booming bro and while bro is still in the car a gaggle of dudes get out the car and made like a blockade on the street mm -hmm. my man John Wick <laughs> is drifting around yep. while still getting ahead this scene was awesome bro. man someone need to God call him phase put him in phase he will be the call of duty and then John gets hit by another car and the mission is over. Oh, nah. I'm starting to think that John's suit is a car magnet because his body keeps on getting hit <laughs> by these cars like crazy. John Wood gets out the car and then four dudes start surrounding him. One pops up from behind the car. Boom. That's one down. John Wood then booms the second Damn. one and then the third one comes from around the car. He booms him again. And John Wick personally didn't like the fourth dude because he disarmed him and then guy number four tried to grab John Wick's gun and he got punched in the neck and shot in his head for his troubles. Mm. And then John Wick gets hit by another car. Oof. But it was by Big Buff Widow's Peak Man and he <laughs> punched the get John. Me personally, I don't think I'd ever want a guy that tall, <laughs> that big, that French sprinting at me. I'd be crying in a corner somewhere. They were shooting at each other <laughs> through traffic until they slowly and slowly come closer to each other. 
they drop the guns and then they start throwing hands for a little bit. But then the Frenchman grabs John Wick and throws bro into a Oof. bus. This needs to stop happening, bro. Whoever was in the writer's room saying, I want John Wick to get hit by 12 cars in the span of <laughs> three minutes was on one that day. He gets back up just to get kicked into this nice. van once again, and then the French man just starts piecing John Wick up. After the French yep. man got done piecing John Wick Damn. up on this van, he threw him back into the street, hit him with a spinning back kick, and then hit him with another one. Oof. I might not like French man, but he was on John Wick's ass. He was. But John he was. Wick had to get it back because the French man starts running at John. He grabs his shirt, and then he gets thrown into his car this Oof. time. I know the vindication John got from that was crazy. But John picks up his gun and starts booming more NPCs. But I don't want y'all to see how he did, bro. He shot him in the neck, saw his body buffering for a little bit, and then shot Damn. him in the forehead, having him do a flip. And then he baited these two guys to get run over by this car, and while they were flipped up in the air after getting hit by a goddamn car, John Wick was still shooting Oof. in the mid Damn. air. John blew some more NPCs just for him to turn around and get hit by another goddamn car. Six. John, please just, just get off the street and get off the road, because everywhere you turn, you get hit by a goddamn car. And this time it was about a Frenchman too. I know John Wick was pissed after he saw who hit him get out the car. Love of God! <laughs> oh, but but his name the tall dude is Shady. Shady, that's his name. For the love of God! <laughs> yeah, this is true though. Please! <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Damn! <laughs> and then Mr. Nobody pulls up with his dog having him <laughs> save John Wick from the Frenchman. And then the Frenchman just throws the dog into a car, but then the dog yep. just stands up, bro. That's the sturdiest dog in existence. Bro. I don't know what Mr. Nobody has been feeding, bro, but I need to get my dog on that diet now. <laughs> John got on the bike, it was finna dip up out of there because he knew it's been too long since he hasn't been hit by a car because he felt he was finna get hit by one soon. And John Wick now has moved on to a building. And in this building, it's just a bunch of dudes with incendiary rounds. Little do they know, the incendiary rounds weren't meant for them to use. They were meant for John. So John booms his first victim in this building and takes his incendiary rounds and oh mm. nah. The one thing Jeez. you don't give John Wick is a gun that shoots fire because he will violate anybody in sight now. There's no way bro can lose any encounter with an incendiary round <laughs> assault rifle. You can put incendiary assault rifle John Wick against Goku and I'll bet on John Wick every time. And we get this beautiful, I mean this beautiful, magnificent, yes. top down, one shot, yes. contra ass scene. I'm glad he mentioned that. I'm so glad he mentioned that because this hands down has to be one of the greatest, the greatest action scene I've seen this entire year for any movie. Any movie, really of all time. Because when I saw it in theaters, my audience went crazy when this scene came. It was like, wow, this was never seen in an action movie ever. Seriously. Where John is just clearing out this building Damn. with his incendiary shotgun. I'm talking about nobody in this entire building stood a chance against John Wick with an incendiary shotgun. Look at this shot, man. Clearing guys above him <laughs> through tables. He's shooting <laughs> through walls like John Wick is cooking yes. everybody in this building alive. Mr. Nobody pulls up and now it's him versus John. And this black dude got some hands because he was putting the beats on John for a little bit. They were <laughs> shooting at each other, but then they both ran out of rounds. And then John threw both of them down like three stories. But Miss Nobody was an awesome character. I love his character. Uh, Shamir Anderson, the guy who played him, he did such a great job playing Miss Nobody. After John Wick and Mr. Nobody recover from falling through like 37 stories, Mr. Nobody gets up, leaves John in the stomach, picks him up, slams hey. him, spins it around and starts putting <laughs> John Wick in the stomach. John Wick gets him off of him though. <laughs> Karate chops him in the neck, spins him around, and now he got him in a rear naked choke. I don't even know how he did this, but he did it though. But then soft ass John Wick saw that bro had a dog. He was like, you know what, bro? You got it, bro. My man <laughs> saved this dog's life because the freshman was finna boom, little bro. Having the freshman fall down a flight yep. of stairs, you think that'd be the last we see of him, right? Nope. But John Wick just like that. And then he has to walk Damn. Big, dumb, Ooh. stupid ass flight of stairs. Bro. But of course, it's not as easy I as swear. just walking up the stairs because it's littered with NPCs. <laughs> Yo, this is so damn true because when this entire scene, when John would try to get all the stairs for a shot, he got go and screwed it up and kicked it all the way down. That that had my audience, the audience in the scene this movie groaning like, you gotta be kidding me. Like, man, you gotta be kidding me. Wow. Murph and Jonathan is fighting. 
Booming dudes throwing them down the stairs, getting pristine, precise headshots, rolling through the guardrails. John Wick is on a mission right now. And it was seeming like John was fighting forever. Getting more tired, getting more worn out, and then he finally gets to the top. But who do you think he meets at the top Shitey. of the stairs? It's this dumb friend huh? once yeah. again. Yeah. Get this dude out of my yeah. face. You yeah. thought you'd never see me again, didn't you? Well, too bad. I'm alive. <laughs> and you know what he does Jeez. after John fought up this flight of stairs for three minutes? He kicks him down the flight of yes. stairs. Oh. Like, just watch. He falls down the stairs legitimately for a minute straight. Yeah, for a minute straight. Yeah, this hurt to watch. I mean, this hurts so much. Look at this. Has to be our reasons. Of course. Yeah, it's crazy. Hit his head in the pole too, man. Oh. Man, it's like me getting launched down a flight of stairs for a minute straight, never fighting. Again. <laughs> Seriously, yeah. The ground. But John, a better man than me. Jeez. He gets back up and he keeps it pushing. But Kane pulls up to help the homie before their duel. Where were you when I landed you? <laughs> With like two minutes left on the clock before sunrise is even here, John and Kane start tearing through the other NPCs before they get to the Frenchman once more. But John Wick pulls up on the Frenchman. They start squabbling a little bit. They start squabbling a little bit. This army get down, and then they both fall down this flight of stairs together. Damn. Kane's still cooking the rest of the NPCs. Did this dude in particular dirty? He poked him with his sword a couple of times, and then he finished it off by shooting bro in the head. But Mr. Nobody is paying his debt back to John because the Frenchman pulls up on John and was fin on boom boom. But Mr. Nobody shot the French guy on the shoulder back in the mouth of John. Kane then socked the ever living mess out of the French dude. And then Mr. Nobody's dog gets his get back against the French dude. And, Nuts. and then John and Kane <laughs> make it on. to the location yep. for the duel. They get in their position, and now it's time for the duel. But they gotta use these old hear ye, hear ye ass pistols <laughs> hear against ye, hear each other. Ye. While Mr. Krabs in the back is the model <laughs> of the duel. Me Mr. Krabs, it's funny enough, because Clancy Brown's iconic role is Mr. Krabs. Even though he played a lot of characters, but Mr. Krabs is his most iconic. Was in the fire, and then they both fired each other. They both shot each other in the arm, so now they gotta take ten paces towards each other. Mr. Krabs says fire one more time. John shoots Kane in the stomach, and Kane shoots John in the shoulder. So now they gotta take another ten paces <laughs> towards each other. And the marquee over there gallivanting. This man is happy as hell. Still doing tricks on Josh and Boing Boing right now, getting ready to claim this victory for himself if Kane wins. They take another 10 paces. Mr. Krabs says fire and Kane shoots John in the stomach. Ooh. John, don't shoot this time. And then here come the marquee dumbass. He pulls yeah. up on Kane like, whoa, 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 bro, chill, bro, chill, bro. I'm finna boom John Wick. So he takes the final bullet, he pulls up on John, and then everybody in the attendance of the duel starts calling the marquee the dumbest man alive because John didn't shoot. Nope. John gets up and he boosts the marquee Got him. Head. And John don't got Consequences. the high table anymore. And in the fight, and I thought John was straight chilling after this, bro. The high table not on his ass anymore. It's really for real how I thought John was gonna eat them three gunshot wounds. I oh, 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 oh. <laughs> got this. Man, 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 man. What the heck? Wish I got the following. I don't know what you Player number 50 is indestructible. Let's continue the game. <laughs> John Wick starts to to his injury. It's, that came out a year ago, yeah. Steps, and then he croaks, pulling a Spike Spiegel. And that is the end of John Wick. That's the end of the video, man. Hmm. I just really wanted to talk about how the marquee was on John Boing Boing the entire <laughs> movie, but that's the end of the fight, man. Moral of the story is, play the Caleb City sketch. No, <laughs> fuck! Already beat your boss. And like 200 of your allies. You literally have no reason to fight. It's not your job no more. I already know the fact that none of them are me. What? They ain't me! Run them hands up! <laughs> but other than that, man, I'm gonna get up out of here. If you like, like, Ooh. comment, subscribe, do the good stuff, and uh, yeah, I'm out of here. Bye. Alright, wow. Awesome recap, Kuno. This is definitely one of his best. I gotta admit, this is one of his best recaps, man. Especially, like I said, I watched John Wick 4 in theaters. Actually, so I saw it twice, actually, back in October. I actually got it for Blu-ray. I had to see it again on Blu-ray, man. 4K, by the way. And, man, that entire Paris arc was one of the best arc in the movie, man. And that, that freaking scene when John uses them Jagged Breath shotguns, man, I'm like, damn, man. Now, how? Now, what movie, action movie, can top that, that moment? What action movie can top that moment, man? It's like, damn, man. 10 out of 10 movie. 10 out of 10, for sure. But, yeah, Hot Squad. That is my conclusion, my reaction 
of Kuuno 9's Jawa Chapter 4 recap. So if you enjoyed it, please hit that button, comment, share your thoughts. What is your favorite Jawa movie? Have you seen Jawa 4? How many times have you seen it? You know, and you enjoy it every single time you watch it. So, Hot Squad, please stay tuned because I have my reaction of Zephyr's Avengers Infinity War recap. So, I'm very excited to see that. I'm getting through these reactions today because, like I said, tomorrow I have my vacation. So, it's going to be a hell of a day. Hell of a great reaction day for me. So, Hot Squad, please stay tuned.